and welcome to 569 Main Street, otherwise known as the Bank of Montreal building, otherwise known as Gifts Galore. Uh, this pink facade has been here as long as I can remember, so Gifts Galore has been there for decades. So it already has its place, it's a well established in its history of this building. However, this building does date back to 1876, that eastern half, those first four windows. Uh, at the time that the Bank of Montreal decided it wanted to locate in Moncton. So J and C Harris built this building and then expanded it in 1888 and then later expanded the whole thing. Uh, their former building here was the commercial hotel. So the importance of this building, one beautiful example of Italianate architecture, commercial architecture. Uh, the Bank of Montreal always built their buildings with Italianate, neoclassical. So. Uh, you do have things like these uh, Doric pil pilasters, uh, cast iron Corinthian capital, uh, iron pillars, uh, segmented arch windows, all in, in sandstone. They wanted to give an imposing view. So the importance economically for Moncton is it was the first major bank to install in Moncton. Prior to this, there were local attempts at banks, regional banks, but this was the first big bank to install in Moncton. And why is that? 1976, what's happening? A few years earlier, the Intercolonial Railway picks Moncton as its headquarters. So all of a sudden, Moncton has transitioned from uh, a downturn in shipbuilding and now the railway has created an economic engine uh, for the area. So Bank of Montreal decides we're gonna build a building here. So J&C Harris builds this building uh, for the Bank of Montreal. And Bank of Montreal stays till 1891 and then they move to the corner of uh, Botsford in Maine. That doesn't mean this wasn't commercially viable. This whole uh, block maintained, to this day, maintains its commercial viability. So it has economic and architectural importance for the city of Moncton. It also has Acadian significance for the city of Moncton. Uh, for more than 30 years, L'Evangeline newspaper printed its paper from this location. Now, it, the paper predates this. It's the first French language paper in the area. But for 30 years, it published from this location. So uh, when you look at this building, you see architectural significance, economic significance, and Acadian significance in the city of Moncton. 